From different features and pricing to various security measures and privacy policies, finding the best anti-malware app out there is overwhelming to say the least. That's why I'm coming at you today with an antivirus tier list. The research team and I have analyzed countless antiviruses and compiled them into an easy to understand grading system, just for you. Let's take a look at who made the cut. All right, our first contender as a top antivirus has to go to Bitdefender, a provider we've tested too many times to count at this point. To rank on the S tier, an antivirus provider must have excellent malware detection rates, which Bitdefender does. As you can see from independent test results, this app has consistently received above average results when it comes to blocking threats in both categories. Though the scans are super thorough, they can also be heavy on system resources, so keep that in mind. The interface is very user-friendly, so even beginners will be able to jump right in. On top of that, it comes with a wide range of additional security features, like a secure browser, password manager, and VPN. The secure browser, SafePay, helps to secure any online transactions, while the password manager offers a safe place to store not only your passwords, but other sensitive data as well. Overall, Bitdefender has routinely ranked as one of the best antivirus for Windows 11 options around for a reason quality performance, excellent security measures, and plenty of extra features. Now, the next provider on my antivirus tier list gets a B grade, considering it currently doesn't have a firewall and lacks a few features that other apps offer. However, Malwarebytes still outperforms lots of other competitors on the market and even specializes in targeting malware and adware. Its most recent AV test results prove that it's highly effective at detecting both zero-day and four-week-old threats, meaning this app has decent anti-malware capabilities, but a few less bells and whistles than other apps. It's not completely lacking features, though. It does include exploit protection, which stops an attack as it's already underway. Plus, there's a VPN that's equipped with modern encryption and the WireGuard tunneling protocol. So again, Malwarebytes definitely qualifies as a protective option, but there are other options out there that do offer better protection and more features. All righty, time to take a nosedive to the bottom of this best antivirus tier list into Windows Defender in the D grade. Right off the bat, as the name suggests, it's only available on Windows devices. But my main issue with this antivirus is that it just doesn't offer enough security. Protective features like a password manager, VPN, and safe browsing extension are off the table entirely, so every corner of your device won't be as secure as it would be with other apps. As you can see from its history of AV test results, it has started to improve in some recent months. However, it's still inconsistent and unpredictable. The only positive I can mention is that it does include a firewall, real-time protection, and malware scanning. So literally the bare bones of antivirus protection. Now, would I consider this the best antivirus for Windows users? No, definitely not. However, it is better than nothing and will get you by as a temporary solution. To make sure you've got a long-term solution, I'm gonna leave discount links in the description as well as a QR code on screen that'll help you save some money on your next antivirus subscription. Don't get whiplash, but we're going back up to the A tier with Total AV. Now, I've reviewed this provider several times over the years, and the only reason I didn't put it on the S tier is because it currently still lacks a firewall. Aside from that, this app provides users with well-rounded coverage in the form of abundant security features and proven protection. Their most recent AV test results couldn't have been better, as it gained full marks in all categories, proving that it's one of the best antivirus for Mac options around. In addition to strong malware protection, you're also getting a feature-rich suite of tools like their VPN, password manager, and system optimization tools. This helps to improve your device's performance by cleaning the disk and clearing up your storage more efficiently. Additionally, the app includes an ad blocker that keeps annoying pop-ups at bay, as well as a tracker blocker to prevent third parties from monitoring your online activity. Overall, this antivirus offers an ideal balance of security and features. Okay, my next suggestion on this antivirus tier list, Avira gets a place on the B tier, thanks to its combination of a surprisingly decent free version, plus excellent malware detection capabilities. Free cybersecurity tools, whether they're antiviruses or VPNs, are notoriously for lacking any truly effective security measures. However, I will say that Avira's unpaid plan comes with a firewall, password manager, and a VPN. But before you jump the gun, the firewall is very basic and the VPN is capped at 500 megabytes per month, which covers almost nothing. Upgrading to the premium version increases the price to value and gets you access to these features. 
Now, the app did earn great scores when it came to testing results. Plus, it's one of the lighter options when it comes to CPU usage. Overall, Avira is a nice option for those of you looking for great malware protection, plus a handful of extra features. Enjoying this roller coaster ride yet? Well, we're going back to the top of the S tier with a provider you've likely already heard of, Norton. If you're wondering what is the best antivirus for devices across the board, I can say the Norton 360 app has consistently ranked as one of our top antivirus options throughout 2024. When it comes to independent testing results, this app had flawless results in all areas, meaning that it's the strongest contender to keep your device safe. In addition to real-time threat detection, the app also comes with a smart firewall that's even more effective at securing your network's traffic than a traditional one. Some other beneficial features include PC cloud backup, a VPN, a password manager, system optimization, and even parental controls. The cherry on top is that the interface itself is easy to navigate, but also comes with the arsenal of tools that advanced users are after. To sum things up, Norton easily ranks as the top antivirus reviewed on today's list. And now that we've covered the best, let's get the worst antivirus on today's list out of the way. Kaspersky, you're going on the F tier. This provider's reputation has been questionable in recent years due to its connection to the Russian Secret Service and just overall shady practices. As of 2024, the US has officially started to cut its ties with this provider as well, which speaks volumes. All right, the next contender on my list, Surfshark, is a great option for those of you in search of a high-performing VPN alongside your antivirus. This app actually started out as a VPN, so you can guarantee that it's a well-rounded option. Then the additional anti-malware tool was added later. I'm sticking this one in the B tier since it received excellent AV test results recently. However, I did knock off a grade for not including a firewall. Regardless, this app is available on most major platforms, making it one of the best antivirus for Android, iOS, PC, or Mac OS options. With it, you're getting real-time protection, customizable scans, a private search browser for increased privacy, data breach monitoring, and webcam protection. And the VPN uses some of the most modern encryption and tunneling protocols on the market, so it's designed for optimal speed and security. Plus, its abundance of servers and locations makes it one of the best antivirus VPN combos when it comes to accessing usually inaccessible content. So whether you prefer an antivirus VPN bundle app or one that comes with a slew of security features, I've got exclusive discounts for today's top providers waiting for you in the description. Moving on to a solid B-tier antivirus, McAfee's total protection plan comes with a wide range of features. A firewall, secure browsing, a VPN, ID protection, file shredder, and the tracker removal to clean up cookies. This provider is an ideal choice for those in need of an all-in-one option that also has a user-friendly, easy-to-navigate app. One thing worth noting in today's comparison is that this provider may not qualify as one of the best antivirus for iOS options, since the app lacks features compared to its Android counterpart. This goes for essentially all antiviruses for iOS apps, since Apple's hardware comes with built-in security measures. Additionally, McAfee's testing results came back with decent scores, showing that it is able to keep your devices safe from all kinds of malware. Plus, it wasn't overly heavy on my system resources. To sum it up, McAfee is a go-to option for those in need of all-around average coverage in every category. Speaking of system resources, my next contender, ESET, is one of the lightest and most efficient antiviruses when it comes to CPU usage. This is mainly thanks to their cloud-based architecture that alleviates some of the scanning stress from your device, making the whole process more smooth and efficient. I'm sticking this provider on the C tier as it certainly qualifies as one of the best antivirus 2024 options if you're just looking for strong malware detection but the basic tier lacks a VPN and password, isn't currently available for iOS, and all of the subscription prices are steeper than most of today's other providers. Though this app isn't feature rich, it's still backed by some really excellent testing results. Essentially, if you're looking for a no-nonsense provider that'll keep you safe and you don't mind investing a little extra, ESET is a great option for you. So that's it for my antivirus tier list 2024 edition. Those who ranked at the top, are gonna be the best antivirus providers for all of your cybersecurity needs. While the middle options still get the job done, but without some of the extras. And the ones at the bottom, yeah, let's not even go there. Let me know in the comments how you would have ranked these providers. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm gonna to leave you a video on screen now in case you're interested in binge watching more cyber news content alongside discounts for all of today's antiviruses. Thanks gang, and see you next time.